Hi, I'm Mark Cleborn and welcome to the Photographer Academy and today I'm joined by the lovely Kelsey in the background again and we're shooting uh, all about aperture and depth of field. So we wanted to just do a quick film on explaining obviously how to get this drop-off effect or create the depth of field to pull focus in. One of the key things for photographers is making the decision whether you're going to be using a prime lens or you're going to be using a medium zoom lens. A prime lens has a different lens construction than a medium zoom lens and hence when you're using a prime in the different apertures you're going to get different results when you side by side comparison them with a medium zoom lens. Okay so the first test we're going to be doing is looking and showing you the difference when we're photographing from 2.8 all the way up to f16. So we're increasing the power of our flash here to get to the difference in the depth of field. So in other words, we're going for 2.8, then f4, then 5.6, then f8, then f11, and then f16. The difference what we're gonna see is with the f2.8, we're gonna have a very shallow depth of field, so the background of the flowers is gonna be completely blurred. F4 will have just that little bit more detail of the flowers. 5.6 will contain to increase the detail of the flowers. F8, uh, 11, and 16 finally will really start to include more depth of field. But remember, there's only ever really one sharp point in a photograph, and that's the perfect focus point. Everything else is basically faked up. So we use depth of field to create an illusion of fo focus throughout the whole image. So for me, the prime lens will automatically drop off the background. So in a normal portrait of a beautiful girl like Kelsey here, there's no question I'm into F4. I want a depth of field that will include the focus. When I focus on the eye, that will include a sharp nose and just to the uh, front of the earlobe. Anything more than that, five, six, and eight, is gonna to start to bring a, a bigger depth of field. When I use a shallower depth of field like 2.8, the biggest problem I have then is a sharp eye, but the nose tip is gonna be out of focus as well. So those are things you have gotta be aware of when you're shooting. Again for me. Keep it. So as you can see in these few photographs, when we're looking at the prime in comparison of a medium zoom lens, even if we're looking at the same focal length set on the medium zoom lens, when we're looking at f4 on the likes of the prime compared to the f4 on the medium zoom lens, there's a slightly difference there as far as the depth of field is concerned. Now you can see here in this next selection of images where I'm using the different elements of the lens. So in other words, I'm going wider, then I'm going really in tight close. You can see how we're using the different depths of field to really increase the depth of the background. So remember, the whole point of an aperture is to increase or decrease how much of the background or foreground is in focus. So remember, a number like F4, a low number, gives a very shallow depth of field. A big number like 8, 11, and 6, 16 gives more depth of focus within the overall image. Once you click through that, you understand it, and you'll be able to actually pick up any lens, but I would encourage you to really practice with your primes because they'll give you a drastically different image. Hope you enjoy the film. See you on the next one.